All right, so stage two of the plastic ban in Western Australia has been implemented on September 1st. Stage one was to get rid of coffee cup lids and plastic straws. And stage two has been to get rid of clear packaging for sandwiches, sushi trays, that sort of stuff. And what we can see here is that the small businesses are being basically forced to pass on that expense change to their customers, which makes it harder for them already. Whereas a company like Woolworths, which posted a $1.7 billion profit last year, uh, doesn't have to adhere to the rules. One, because they're not in Western Australia, and two, because they prepare their food off-site. So if you are a business that prepares your food off-site and brings it in and sells in the area, then you are able to continue to use clear plastic packaging. The only issue is that small businesses that are only just able to get by don't have the money or the profits to invest in an off-site kitchen and make everything in-house. That's what makes them good. They make it on-site, it's fresh, it's done there. If if we are going to implement these sorts of strategies to rid the world of pollution, I'm all for making the world a cleaner, better place. But when it's clear that your policy has been influenced by the people who fund you, then we can see that you are just trying to benefit big business and corporate interest. Whoever donates to the, the governing body who influences the policy, we see it benefit them all the time. The little man is the one who suffers the small business, the people who make up the fabric of Australia. And all I can say is that potentially we just put a bit more effort into supporting our local baristas, our local cafes, our local grocers, and pay the extra to help them and put the money in the pockets of the small businesses. Because if we don't do that and we don't put something in place to help these businesses survive, they will not. And then we will be in a complete central monopoly where we are reliant on one supplier that gives us all of our food. We can see now where the people in positions of power, for example, Mark McGowan, who takes a job position in the industries that his policies were benefiting, we can see how the people in power only benefit corporate interest. And all I can suggest is we try to take the power back by investing in local small businesses as often as possible. Because if you don't make a stand now, it could be too late.